Hello and welcome to another episode of WAST Gaming Warehouse. Today we will be comparing the top 5 game engines that are out in the market. So what is a game engine? A game engine is basically a software that compiles all your scripting and your models and also your characters and all the different types of things you have and puts them into one and it follows your customizations. It You can customize your game however you want. But the top game engines will be discussed in this video. So without further ado, let's get on to it. The fifth game engine that is in our uh, series is going to be Scratch. Scratch is an easy to use game engine that easily lets you drag and drop blocks onto the workspace for you to create an uh, animation, story or game. The most, the most majority of people are creating games with Scratch. Scratch is intended for people below seven years from my experience. So basically if you look at this piece of block this means that when this flag is clicked, then this piece of code or whatever instructions inside this will repeat 10 times. So move, it will move 10 steps, change the color effect by 25, play the drum for 4 for 0 0.2 beats, and it'll say say, it'll, and it'll say welcome to scratch for two seconds, and then it'll just repeat that 10 10 times. So as you can see, there are different projects that are um, submitted by people all over the world and are accessible on their website. If you would like to view more about Scratch, please visit scratch.mit.edu. Let's move on to the, our next game engine. The next game engine that we will be reviewing is Game Maker. Game Maker is also another easy to use application or game engine that allows you to create your own games for free. You can get the studio version and the MIPS edition version for free, as you can see here. But if you would like to take the step further and get the standard professional or master version, then there would be an external charge involved. If you are a more game developer and you would like to use Game Maker as your preferred choice of game, ma game engine, then I prefer you using Master. It, com it has all the different features you need to use including iOS export and Ubuntu export, as well as Android export. Um, yes, so Game Maker is an easy to use uh, platform and you can easily put your games onto the App Store, Google Play Store, Facebook, Nook and the Chrome Store. So that is very good. You can also put in-app purchases. So for example, if you have played Subway Surfers, for example, then Subway Surface is free, but then the company uses a different types of strategy to get money. So they have in-app purchasing. So in-app purchases basically means that people buy different things from the app. So for example, if your character was very slow and you wanted to make it faster, the only way to do that was to buy the, the package that makes the character go faster. So that is how the companies get money and that and if you choose Game Maker, that could also be your preferred way of making money. Also, there is in-game advertising. That means people could put their ads on top of or below your your game. So then people could easily go and buy uh, their apps and you could earn money. That is basically like monetizing on YouTube. Over here, it says monetize and analyze. So you can see how many people... Uh, buy the things and also how much money you have earned so moving onwards let's just see what game maker is it's fast it's a cross platform games development software so the game maker studio family of projects creators to entry-level novices and seasoned game development professionals equally allowing them to create casual and social games for iOS Android desktop and the web so that's HTML5 in record time and at a fraction of the cost. So if you would like to read more of this, please visit www.yoyogames.com slash game maker slash studio. So as you can see, we have our different ta a table of the price range. So the game maker studio is free as well as the MIPS edition, which is way better as you can see in this feature list. 
and but the studio standard version is forty nine dollars ninety nine. The professional version is ninety nine ninety nine, and the master edition or collection is four hundred ninety nine ninety nine. A massive increase in price range from um from the professional and the collection version. So you can download it from here. The next engine we're gonna be uh, talking, I'm gonna be talking to you guys about is UDK. UDK is um has the same functionalities as Unreal Game Engine. As you can see, it is only for non-commercial use, as you cannot sell your games. But if you would like to sell these games, then you would need to contact the sales development, the sales department of UDK, and get a license for that. Now, UDK is a very easy to understand game engine, but I'm not going to be using that in our tutorials. UDK is also a 3D game engine, and if you have played Infinity Blade, then they have created an Infinity Blade from the Unreal Game Engine, which is basically UDK. UDK is free, and it's for everyone over here, and it is a free edition of Unreal Game Engine. And if you would like to download this, you could just download it from here and then you would be redirected to the download page and you would need to download the 2012-13 uh, UDK beta. That's 1.9 gig. You could download previous editions too. That goes, that goes way back up to November 2009. But those are not downloadable as they are not hyperlinked. Um, so you can basically download the UDK beta up to 2012, which is 1.5 gig. I recommend you getting the 1.9 gig as it has all the functions. Let's move on. The next game engine we're going to be reviewing is Cry Engine 3. Cry Engine 3 is basically a very cool game engine. As you can obviously see, these are some games that they have created from Cry Engine 3. I will be using, I will be creating some games of Cry, from Cry, Cry Engine 3 if I have the time to. Most probably yes. So you have licenses from here and if you would like to, and also it is for non-commercial use. Non-commercial use um, for both of these is basically when you you can give your a game to your friends for free but not, but you can't like let them pay for it and get it. If you would like to do that, again, you have to contact sales for UDK. Or if you want to get get put it for commercial use, just click on register. And then it should redirect you to this page. And then just type in your title for whether that is Mr, Mrs, Miss, or uh, you, you could try it as master, that's a kid. You could just try it if it works. Company email, I think you could use whatever you want. And yeah. So just enter your details and then you can confirm and all that. So yeah, so that's Cry Engine, uh, Cry Engine, and that's very uh, that's a very attractive game engine as you can see from the graphics. I think it is very easy to use, as you can see from here. So it's visuals, the fastest high-end renderer in the world. So I recommend you actually going for this if you like your graphics, and I think most of you do. Characters and faces are becoming features of almost all modern AAA title and Crytek are in the vanguard of quest to more. So, um, so click on this to more, yeah. So, as you can see, this is a model, and this is a realistic model. As you can see, there are creases in the screen, and this is cool. AI system, that means artificial intelligence system. Realistic rendered and animated characters Required state of AI systems intelligently respond to the game environment. Cool. Physics. Some really important things you read, read to know. So just read this. Uh, performance. The benchmarks of Crytek set for graphics, performance, and quality are matched by the performance and quality of the... And then you can read more. But we're not going to read more. Also, the stereoscopic 3D is like that very cool this is both probably a model from halo i think but that looks like halo audio is superb as you can see the sound system in cryengine 3 offers many features and improvements with its data driven concept with guarantees and you can check more the sandbox sandbox gives developers full control over multi-platform creations in real time it features many more improved etc Support. Crytek is setting the benchmarks for engine support 
delivering the most experience to developers to match and then more. So I think uh, if you would like to get the most out of your game development and you would like to make your uh, game development the best, then I d recommend you going on to CryEngine. Now I will be putting tutorials on, to Cry on CryEngine once I have got CryEngine and I am happy with it. Moving on, we have Unity. These two game engines are basically the same for me. These are in the same standard. There is no significant um, distance, distant comparison between them as they have the same functionalities. But if you like graphics, I recommend this. As you can see, Unity is also such a cool game engine and many people use it in the world. So Unity, one of the best features of Unity is that it has an asset store. The asset store is basically where you can download different p packages from different people all over the world by playing a fraction of a cost or even if people would like to give it for free just as a consideration then you could get it for free. Most of the free packages are from Unity Technologies or from Unity. Unity as you can see Bootcamp is from Unity and the free game terrain assets is from Unity as well as the unity projects dealt you can download these and use it into your um, game you could also upload your own assets and get 70 percent of the profit so unity gets 30 percent you get 70 percent that's profit probably like a deal because it's standard web store now that's what i like about unity unity you can also basically learn stuff from unity website and you can learn from the FAQs. So Unity is free if you can want to download it for free. The download version is free, Unity 4.1.5. Or you could download the 30-day free trial from Unity, the pro trial, over here. If you would like to download the pro version, then please click on this uh, link over here. And then it will be only $1,500. Um, yes, and also optional add-ons for the Unity Pro, that's for this version, or if you get the trial while you are at it, you can get this. I don't recommend it, as you will be wasting your money. The Dream License, you could get it for $500, the iOS Pro for $1,500, and the Android Pro for $1,500. So if you're looking at uh, developing games for iOS, and you want to get your Unity Pro, then you could get both of these for $3,000. But another cool feature of Unity is that you could get a discount. Now, I cannot find a discount thing yet because I just got out of that page. Over here it is. Get in the news, discounts and more. So just enter your email, subscribe to the newsletter and you can get probably discounts. Unity is awesome, I think. So yeah, so I'd, I'd recommend you get into Unity as it, a very, as it is a very small uh, file. And I also recommend you get in CryEngine. Uh, uh, I think I didn't tell you where to get CryEngine from, so just click on download CryEngine and then it's t uh, Red Eye Dev direct you to cry.dev.net and then you just click on download the free SDK and then you click on download now and then if you're in Chrome or in any browser it should put the link, it should just download it. So it's downloading, I'm going to leave that to download. So, uh, yeah, so that's a different thing. So, obviously, if you are using um, CryEngine, uh, if you are using CryEngine, then you don't have to use an audio thing because it already comes with an audio thing. But, uh, yeah. So, obviously, I'm going to move on to the audio part now. So, the CryEngine, you don't have to use it, obviously. Unity, you have to get a um, free, um, you have to get a um, audio kind of thing. With all these, you also have to get... Um, an audio thing so I recommend you getting virtual DJ or if you would like to get it get auto city auto city which is also free so yeah so you can get virtual DJ which is free the free download and you can get the pro version for I think $300 and you can get auto city for free which is free obviously so you can look at it like this and as you might think it looks ugly the website but really it is awesome I use virtual DJ but once I use CryEngine I don't think I will be needing that so um 
Yeah, so the next thing we're going to be talking about is um, which modeling or sculpting uh, software that we'll be using. Obviously, you can see that we're going to be using Blender. Blender is a free uh, modeling software that is used by many people all over the world to create 3D models. Now, if you're not if you're using Scratch or Game Maker, then you obviously would not need to download Blender, and you would need to download another 2D package. I'm not. I will not go into detail of which 2D modeling tool you would need to use, but I think Photoshop or any other 2D um, um, thing would be perfect as it is 2D, obviously. So this is Blender. As you can see, these are different models that were created with Blender. This rabbit. This gearbox, very high def. This um, different uh, type of modernized dragon with clanks and bolts. This um, different elf kind of thing with um, um, a character on it, uh, on her. And then this um, flower which is behind Blender. Blender is free, obviously, so you can get it from here. So in my next tu tutorials, if um, if I continue with Unity, um, then I will be using Blender. So um. Yeah, so um, so most probably I will be using these two engines, as you might already know. So uh, that's basically it for this video. Um, actually, there is one more thing. If you just like to get informed, we will be using um the most popular um scripting language, which is JavaScript or C hash um scripting thing. So uh. If CryEngine doesn't require uh, scripting, then I won't be using scripting, uh, but uh, most probably I will because I might be using Unity too. So thank you for watching this video and please do subscribe to WASD Gaming Warehouse. Uh, comment this video, comment this video if, and like this video for optimum updates on how to create um, perfect games like these in the background here. And please do subscribe as it does help us and it does help you to create better games in the future thank you for li listening and have a great day